Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd habati fillah Supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and afkar as we mentioned countless times is so important And it is your wasila, it's your means to Allah Azza wa Jal And these are great forms of ibadah Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek refuge. If you seek refuge, then seek it in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to this hadith. This is about the importance of making supplication when you get up in the morning. So try to, again, try to memorize the supplications of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if not, at least you get in the habit of supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanking him, asking him for help, and showing your gratitude to him Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When one wakes, they should say, All praises for Allah the Exalted, who has made me have good health in my body, given me my soul back, and gave me permission to remember him. Imam al nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala said about this hadith and this supplication. He said, there are many ahadith in this matter that ask for good health. And that is one of the phrases that are general and include repelling all undesirable aspects in the body and inside the body, in the religion, in this life, and in the hereafter. SubhanAllah. So look at the, the fawaid uh, of, of the ulama and the, the asl is the fa'idah and, and fawaid of this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu You're asking Allah tabarak wa ta'ala for, you're praising him first and foremost. You're beginning with the tawheed and tawheed al-ibadah. You're, you're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, acknowledging his lordship, his rububiyyah, and with uluhiyyah, that you're acting upon it and supplicating and praising him tabarak wa ta'ala. And so you begin... The Prophet ﷺ said, All praises for Allah the Exalted who has made me have good health. And you're thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and acknowledging that He's given you good health. He gave you the ability to wake and have a new day, a new start. Gave me good health in my body. Given me my soul back. Because you, that was a type of death you experienced. And look how many people, as they say, they passed in their sleep. He died in his sleep. She died in her sleep. Because they never awoke from that state. And they went on to a more permanent state as far as their body in this life on, on, uh, into Barzakh. Given me my soul back and gave me permission to remember him. Allahu Akbar. This is the difference with Ahl Islam. That they thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for each stage. They acknowledge that. This is what we learned from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that every aspect, it's a ni'mah that I'm here. It's a ni'mah that I was able to, to wake up. It was a ni'mah that I had my vehicle, I was able to come here. It was a ni'mah, I didn't have an accident. It's a ni'mah, I have the health I can enjoy and I can walk in here. It's a ni'mah that I can speak, it's a ni'mah that I can breathe the air. So, subhanAllah, ni'mah azima. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. All of, the, all of this is, an, is ni'am, ni'am. So if we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, 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 and which is the affair of the mu'min, they're, they're showing the gratitude, they're showing the gratefulness, they're showing the thankfulness that every stage, that's why a lot of non-Muslims, they can't comprehend that, that every aspect, you're thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I thank Allah that Allah blessed me to be able to afford the, the, ta the eye tablet, the, the iPad, had the na'mah. Every aspect is a ni'mah. And that's why you want to use your dunya to benefit you in the akhirah. And as the Salaf used to say, a dunya dar al-amal. Wal akhirah dar al jaza This life is the time for deeds. And the next life is the time for the rewards. So may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyib, wa amal al-mutakabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.